Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Cédric Polomat, Project Manager at Microsoft Identity from Brussels, Belgium. A bit later, I'll be joined by my, another fellow Program Manager, Muriel Fernando, who is about 10,000 miles away from me in Australia. Today we are talking to you about, wherever you are on the globe, migrating your applications from Active Directory Federation Services, or ADFS, to Azure Active Directory, or Azure AD. Why? Migrating ADFS applications to Azure AD can help you unlock security improvements, improve productivity for your users, and reduce your operational costs. We will begin by looking at why now is the time to stop using ADFS and the trends we are seeing from customers as they migrate to the cloud. Second, how you can plan your migration journey successfully to migrate all your apps from ADFS today including applications such as Salesforce, ServiceNow, SuccessFactors, and others. Third, we will summarize the business benefits in case you need to convince stakeholders, plus all the additional insights, management, and governance advantages in Azure AD for your application ecosystem. We'll conclude with a cheat sheet of action and items that you can use for your migration. In this economy, you're probably getting messages to tie it in the budget. So how can you make significant improvements to your identity and access security while using what you already have? This is a good year to set up your modernization and this section will provide more reasoning behind the why. A decade ago, pretty much everybody was using ADFS because Federation was the only game in town. But the admins need simpler solution. So we released password hashing in 2014, and customers began the transition to Azure AD. The next big advance was in 2017, enabling authentication to happen on-premises without having to run ADFS with pass-through authentication. Customers quickly responded, and we started to see greater shift in the industry. During the pandemic, the use of the ADFS plateaued, perhaps because of the intense rise of more pressing challenges with ransomware. So here we are, approaching the end of 2022. With the investment and accelerator we're working on, we expect this trend to continue. Improved security, increased productivity, and reduced cost are the top three wins that customer tells us they get by migrating from ADFS to Azure AD. Security is improved by strong access policies, intelligent detection and response to compromised accounts, and efficient automation of user journey in your organization. Users have less IT fraction by leveraging passwordless solution, centralized application access and self-service, thus increasing their productivity. And it's also a good time for, to focus on saving money via modernization by using what you already own and cutting down on costly, resilient infrastructure while making significant improvement to your identity and access security. Listening to customers is a key to success. Even more powerful are the reasons we directly heard from one of our customers. With COVID-19, our team was running really lean. We no longer had the bandwidth to support ADFS. With so many emerging security threats, we needed higher confidence that our security policies were uniformly enforced across all applications. This was much more easily done with Azure AD conditional access. And ADFS was a neat idea to quickly get to Office 365 six or eight years ago. But with so many innovation happening in the cloud right now, it was a no-brainer to tap into this innovation with Azure AD. We're thrilled by the savings, simplification, and innovation our customers are achieving. And we are ready to help you reach the same benefits of a cloud-centric approach. Over the past few years, we released 19 new features specifically to enable easy migration from ADFS to Azure AD, based on customer needs. These new features fall into three categories of value. Service level features, protocol-specific features, and application dependency features. And we have much more in the pipeline. So stay tuned and we'll continue to post blogs on these upcoming developments. ADFS and Azure AD both provide SSO capabilities. 
But once applications are migrated into Azure AD, your apps, developer, and users can start leveraging many of the modern capabilities that were previously only available to Microsoft 365 apps. This includes advanced conditional access policies, such as compliance with Intune or another MDM, Microsoft Managed Services with 4 nines uptime, provisioning user's object and attributes to application using Scheme Protocol, ancient authentication options such as passwordless, opening up B2B guest access to more applications outside of Microsoft 365, continuous access evaluation, identity protection, entitlement management with access governance and access reviews, and so much more. Hopefully, Cedric has convinced you that ADFS must go. Now let's dig into how you migrate from ADFS to Azure AD. We begin with a typical ADFS environment. You have your business apps like ServiceNow and Salesforce configured in ADFS, and you have your users signing in through ADFS. Single sign-on to Office 365 is achieved by setting up federation between Azure AD and ADFS. As you begin your migration journey, you will start moving some of your apps from ADFS to Azure AD. While the app migration is progressing, you can also start testing cloud native user authentication with Azure AD. This can be done by using a feature called staged rollout. Staged rollout will help you take a subset of your users off ADFS and migrate them to Azure AD for a cloud native authentication experience. Once all your apps are migrated to Azure AD and authentication has been sufficiently tested, it is time to remove the federation. To help with fallback, you can backup and export the related configurations. Now, all your users and apps are leveraging Azure AD for authentication. After confirming that your ADFS farm is not used for authentication anymore, you can finally decommission the entire ADFS farm. With the ADFS farm gone, this frees up your operations and engineering teams to focus on leveraging all the benefits of Azure AD. Next, let's talk about the phases of a typical ADFS application migration. First, stop the bleeding. Push all new application deployments for SSO to Azure AD. Don't keep adding to the problem. There's a successful recipe that we see our customers follow. First, discover and scope your existing applications in ADFS. Strike out any apps that are about to be end of life and are not required to be migrated. Then classify the remaining apps. This will help you build a plan and identify those that are good candidates for a pilot. Once you have piloted the migration of a few apps and built your plan, it is time to execute on migrating all the apps to Azure AD. Next, cut over the federation from ADFS and move to Azure AD's native cloud authentication. Finally, decommission your entire ADFS farm. We created a tool to help you discover and create an inventory of your apps in ADFS, the Azure AD Connect Health for ADFS. This is an agent that needs to be installed on all the servers in your ADFS farm. Once installed, the ADFS sign-ins will be integrated with the Azure AD sign-in logs. This will allow you to view ADFS application activity report in the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can quickly identify the number of active users for an app, as well as the app's readiness for migrating to Azure AD. To install the Azure AD Connect Health for ADFS agent, you can head over to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center at entra.microsoft.com. Open up the Monitoring and Health section and the Usage and Insights blade. Navigating to the ADFS Application Activity page will provide you with the option to download and install the Azure AD Connect Health ADFS agent. Now remember to install the agent on all the servers in your ADFS farm. Once the agents are installed, you will start seeing the ADFS application activity report being populated with usage information. This report will help you identify the applications in ADFS 
and understand their usage and readiness for migration to Azure AD. Clicking through on each app will provide further detailed information on potential migration issues that may need to be resolved to bring the apps over to Azure AD. All applications don't need to be migrated at the same time. To rationalize which application should be migrated first, or which may take more time, you can consider them along the following axes, business criticality, usage, and lifespan. It's key that you start identifying your application owners because you are going to need to communicate, coordinate, and sometimes chase them as you move forward in your migration initiatives. As much as possible, leverage a dedicated environment with some clone of the application to migrate. This will give you a safe space to map the ADFS settings to Azure AD te test and validate access and plan for rollback. Some applications support multiple IDPs. This is useful to prepare the migration prior to switching. You are now ready to upgrade the configuration and switch to Azure AD. In a similar manner to moving apps from ADFS to Azure AD, you need to move the user's authentication against ADFS to natively signing with Azure AD. Cloud native authentication methods include password async, and pass-through authentication. To help with testing the new experiences for your users, we provide cap a capability called Azure AD Stage Rollout to Cloud Authentication. This feature allows you to test moving a subset of your users' authentication in a controlled manner. In this demo, I will enable Stage Rollout to test authentication via PHS with a user of my tenant. Megan Brown is currently a user in my tenant. She's synchronized via CloudSync, including password hashing. As the domain is federated, she's authenticating via ADFS. Using the Antra Admin Center, I can go into Azure AD Connect Health and manage my stage rollout. I'll enable stage rollout and configure a group of users that will leverage PHS. By adding Megan Brown to the group, stage rollout will now set her to authenticate via PHS. When Megan authenticates, she now sees Azure AD experiences to sign in. We can compare the page side by side to highlight any differences. We've now seen the typical phases to migrate your applications and reviewed how to move your authentication to Azure AD. Now let's have a look back at the benefits provided and what more you can achieve along with Azure AD. If you need to sell this migration to stakeholders, here are the benefits you can talk about. You will get access to industry-leading security with conditional access for all your apps. You can improve productivity by providing a seamless single sign-on experience to all applications, even when users are working remotely. You are reducing costs by managing your users and their access from the cloud in a single comprehensive identity and access management solution. These benefits now go beyond ADFS. Applications Insights will enable you to optimize and audit your applications, access management, identity governance, and application provisioning will increase your security and improve your productivity. In summary, here's a quick cheat sheet of, for this session. Enable password hash sync and start testing cloud native authentication with stage rollout. Stop the bleeding. Use Azure AD for all new apps going forward. Install Azure AD Connect Health Agent for ADFS in your ADFS farm. Start discovering the apps using the ADFS Activity Report. Finally, secure your apps with conditional access policies. We will leave you with a list of resources that you can use as you start on your ADFS to Azure AD migration journey. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your Ignite experience.